Well, according to history and from what I've learned from professors and other alumni, the pumpkins first appeared on the Spires of Rounds in 1975. I arrived on campus at Plymouth State in the fall of 1976 as a first year student. First time I saw the pumpkins on the Spires of Rounds, uh, I thought to myself, my goodness, I wonder how they get them up there. As a student here in the 80s, we always used to look up there and try and figure out how they did it. And it always looked like maybe there was a couple little hooks or something. When they re-roofed the building in the 2000s, uh, all that went away and it's just smooth slate. One of the strange things actually was that one year, my senior year, the pumpkins didn't go up. And I think a lot of people were really nervous that maybe the tradition was gonna end. My knowledge, that's the only time in the last few decades that we haven't had the pumpkins up. So that was the fall of, of 2008 had a meteorology class and there's a camera that outlooks void onto rounds and we always watch the night footage and the time lapse and it you know the sun goes down and it gets dark and then suddenly you see these two little dots appear and sure enough when the sun rises up it's the pumpkins. I just would like to see what the tower looks like at the top and if there's any secret entrances or anything that could make it easy for somebody to make that tradition happen. Along with that tradition is the tradition of trying to figure out how the heck they get up there. I have no idea how they get up there. Could be weather balloons, the spirit of the great pumpkin. Best guess is that it's either our outing club or it's a group of our adventure education majors. You know, think about it, who's better to scale a building and put pumpkins on the roof than, than them? And I mean, that's a pretty big building to scale, so props to them if that's the case. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna go with as well. As a rock climber, people always used to ask me how that happened, and I honestly have no idea. They always said, you're doing it, aren't you, Bob? And I was like, no, I'm, I honestly am not. Many rumors say that Robert Frost actually gets up from his statue and puts the pumpkins up there himself. But I obviously think that's crazy. How is that possible? What I believe is I think aliens go up there and put it there when nobody's around. The webcam from Boyd Hall, which is run by meteorology, and it's trained right on round. So clearly they have the inside scoop and could you know, turn that off. All those students are scientists, you know, they're really smart. They figure out a way to, you know, do the rigging and make that happen and they turn the webcam back on so nobody else can see it because nobody ever catches it. I mean, just look at it, it's crazy. I don't know how anybody gets up there. All I say is it's a mystery because I think that's part of what makes this tradition so important at Plymouth State is we really don't know how they get there. <laughs>